Hey guys, this is John and I'm playing Deho in the three minute pool on ICC. Deho is 2182 and we have a D4, D5 opening by transposition. Looks like it'll be Shigorin. And I'll play a line that I usually play against this, which is just Knight C3. I don't like messing around with the C takes D5 lines. Um, I think this line is perfectly fine. And mm, this is actually a tough call whether to play Bishop H4 or I'll play Bishop H4, which just seems kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I think this line's perfectly fine and leads to some nice positions for white as well. Because the knight on c6 is always going to be a bit misplaced in this structure. So now I get to attack this. This pawn is slightly weak. Queen d7. Okay, so he might be trying to castle queenside. Hmm. Well, let's just castle ourselves. And maybe a3 is a good move. I'm just waiting to see which wing he commits his king to. Maybe he won't commit his king. Okay, now I like the look of knight e4 trying to attack f6. It seems a little awkward for him to defend. And maybe I can get into c5, or alternatively I can take on d6. I'll have the option of taking with my bishop or my knight. Plays rook h6 to cover. So now he can't castle kingside. He's not able to do that. So if I ever, ever I take and he takes with his pawn, the c-file might be open. This pin is annoying though, and I gotta watch out for h4. Hmm. So if I take with my knight, he takes with his pawn, h3. Looks alright. Let's do that. Check. Off the top of my head, I don't see a better way to proceed, and this one seems fine. I get to keep my bishop pair. He'll probably bring his bishop back to f5, because I don't think he wants to surrender the bishop pair so easily. Let's go rook c1. Just in preparation, like trying to track his king. So if he castles, maybe I go d5 straight away. I think he's going to have some trouble uh, with his king. Now I can go here and I'm attacking the h5 pawn, so he goes back. Hmm. We'll go here. A couple ideas. One is knight c4, making room for the knight to come here and attack d6. The other is maybe bishop b1. He's going to have issues with this king. Uh, meanwhile, I might have issues with my clock. i got to keep that in mind. I turned the sounds down a little bit because I've been having audio issues lately. Like my mic volume, for some reason, is just out of nowhere, has become a lot lower, and tweaking with the settings has not helped much. So I try to turn my ICC sounds down to compensate for that. Yeah, D5 is probably a correct move. Let's go rook e1 and see if we can break with e4 at some point. He's going to be very reluctant to castle still. Hmm. If knight b3, he has b6 covering the knight c5 jump. Let's go b4. I think he should post a rook on c8 and reply. I want to break with e4, but I'm not sure about knight takes d4. That's why I'm hesitating. Otherwise, I would be all over that pawn break. e4, knight takes, I take d5. It's not quite doing the damage I would like. All right, got to do something. I'm just going to go for this trade. And then his h-pawn will be in danger after this. See if he'll trade voluntarily or if I'll have to drag it out of him. My knight needs to get on a better route as well, like maybe knight c3 now. Does have that b6 move if he wants it. Okay, let's go queen d3. Can go knight d6 and maybe try to work his way uh, into one of these squares. Again, I really want to play e4. It's just not working out tactically. Um, okay, we got to do something. We just got to go now. Yeah, this is a little passive, however. Let's open this up. D4 is now defended, so I'm getting a little scope. However, my minor pieces aren't so good. Okay, that was, that was a passive move. Let's take... 
If knight takes, I'm thinking knight e4. Yeah, let's go knight e4 now. I'm trying to get into c5, that's a juicy square. And he can't prevent me from getting in there either. This is looking good. We're equalizing the time situation too. He can play knight f4 and threaten uh, mate on g2, however, but I'm just taking his knight as soon as it gets there. And knight takes e6 as the threat. Let's open this wing up a little bit. It'd be h4 to come. I don't see a knockout in regards to the e6 square, but he's just going to lose on time. Time warning. Yeah, let's just do something like this. Okay. So, got the flag at the end in uh, probably better, but not necessarily winning position. Let's go back and have a look. So we transposed in the Shigorin, and after bishop g4, c takes d5 is the main move, but I mentioned in another video recently that I like just knight c3, maintaining the tension. Uh, I feel like a lot of Shigorin players would prefer it if you take on d5 because they get more active peace play, which is what Black is striving for in this opening. So instead, I play knight c3, he plays e6, bishop g5. I've also played bishop f4 in this position. Bishop g5, f6. Here I'm not sure whether bishop h4 or bishop f4 is better. I'm going to add the engine just to see. Yeah, I suppose he takes d5, as the engine says, is also possible. But bishop h4, he grabs. I played e3. This position was pleasant for me, no complaints. Castles, knight g7. I could also go knight e4 here, which has the diabolical threat of bishop takes f6. And if he takes it, there would be a fork on f6. a3 is a little slow. And somehow this seemed reckless, but I wasn't able to refute it per se. I did jump into e4 and attack his pawn on f6, but he has rook f8. Check. And I took h3. So I've got the bishop pair. Yeah, maybe d5. This this seems like the way to go. Not sure why I hesitated, had hesitated to play that move right now. Um, even though after this he could take and I wouldn't have the bishop pair, the structure is incredibly favorable to me. This d6 pawn is flat out weak, and I can attack it further with rook fd1. So d5, yeah, that would have been a good move, especially considering that he played to control the d5 square very soon. Knight d2, bishop back. Now bishop e2 is the computer suggestion. That's similar to what I did. I think I played bishop a2. Both bishop a2 and bishop e2 make way for the knight to come to c4, but bishop e2 is more forcing because I'm also attacking h5. Let's say if he plays by analogy, h4, bishop h2, d5. What do I do? Queen a4. Maybe with the idea of knight b3. Okay. And then if ever he plays b6, then I have instant pressure on the c6 knight. Maybe bishop b5 or bishop a6 if his rook comes to c8. So I played bishop a2. He went d5. Rook e1, looking to play e4, but that was a hard move to achieve. King f7, played b4, rook c8. I think he was playing fine right around here. I was burning a, burning a significant amount of time trying to find something more convincing, but I never was able to. I just had to move. I think in, let's say, right about this position, he's completely fine. 97, because it's hard for me to get the pawn break in without the d4 pawn dropping. Yeah, knight e2 is a little passive. If he would have just traded and then played rook c8, offering another trade, I'm slightly worse. I'm, I have less time on the clock. It's not looking great for me. But instead, he, he got greedy with b5, followed by um, especially the rook c4 move coming up. e4 even is not so good. I thought he might do this and then plant a knight on d5. I guess I have rook c5 in that case. Hmm. So this would have been a better time for rook c4 if he wanted to play that move. 
Because if my knight gets to e4, then I'm in range of c5. I have much more play than in this scenario. So knight h6 was a weak move by him. I went knight c3, rook c4, take. He took with his knight. Yeah, knight e4. And you see the eval just jumped up instantly into white's favor. So that was a big turning point, basically, these last few moves. So knight h6 and also rook c4. Well, maybe not rook c4 so much, but... Huh. The engine says here he can play rook fc8 instead of taking the pawn back. Idea being, if I grab on e6, he plays queen c6, and he's tripled on the c-file, and he's attacking my knight. And I can't do this because he takes on c1. And if I continue Check. exchanging, I have a back rank issue Check. because of the bishop on h2. I'd have to give up my queen, and I'd be losing. Down a piece. That's hard to see, though. In a blitz game, especially with this limited amount of time, I would be very shocked if black didn't take on d5 <laughs> with either the pawn or the knight. So he took with the knight, knight e4, and his time was just dwindling, and he wasn't able to adjust. The final position is better for white, but as I said, it's not yet winning. I couldn't find anything decisive yet. I'd have to work hard to win this game. I was just trying to open lines on the king side, where his king is. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this Blitz game. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.